Thailand obtained Internet access in 1996, the third country in Southeast Asia to do so. 41 million people have regular access, just under two thirds of the population as of June 2016. According to a survey by UCLA in 2015, Thailand also has the sixth fastest Internet speed at 18.9 megabits per second behind Hong Kong, Singapore, Japan, Taiwan, and China. The majority of broadband Internet access uses Asymmetric Digital Subscriber Line and VDSL. Some areas are covered by cable modems using DOCSIS, G.SHDSL and fiber to the home FTTH. Consumer broadband internet bandwidth ranges from 10 megabits per second to 300 megabits per second up to 1 gigabit per second in Bangkok, Chiang Mai, Pattaya, Phuket. Medium and large businesses use leased lines or Ethernet Internet, MPLS where fiber optic cables link many office buildings in the central business district areas such as Bangkok Sakamwit, Siloam, and Sathorn areas to the Thailand Internet backbone. Universities have access to fast Internet access, including the Trans-Eurasia Information Network research network. A 3G UMTS, HSDPA network was launched in Bangkok and vicinity in December 2009 with speeds up to 7.2 megabits per second on the 2100 MHz band. In late 2011, Telephone Organization of Thailand released 3G on HSPA Plus technology covering all areas in Bangkok with speeds up to 42 megabits per second. Major mobile network operators in Thailand also have released their 3G services at around the same time on the 850 MHz and 900 MHz bands with the same technology and connection speed. There are initiatives to offer mainstream FTTH providing bandwidth of up to 100 megabits per second bundled with IPTV and VoIP. FTTH with speeds up to 30 megabits per second is available in limited areas in major cities, including Bangkok, Phuket, and Chiang Mai. Thailand saw a rapid growth in the number of broadband users in 2005 with the initiation of unmetered broadband in 2004. There are 3,399,000 Internet hosts in Thailand, the highest in Southeast Asia. They spend an average of 16 hours on the Internet per week. <laughs> <laughs> Internet domain names Country code top level domain CCTLD, TH, Second level domains AC for academic institutions, CO for commercial companies, IN for individuals or any others from 2002, GO for governmental organizations, ME for military organizations, OR for registered non profit organizations, NET for officially registered Internet service providers. Topic: Internet backbones. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> International and domestic bandwidth. As of November 2009, Thailand had a total international internet bandwidth of 106,787 megabits per second. Thailand domestic internet bandwidth was significantly higher at 607,526 megabits per second. This is due to an increase in provision of local content. Internet users in Thailand typically get higher speeds in their connection to Thai content providers with very short pings of 5 to 50 milliseconds, but a speed 70% or less for international connection with pings of 70 to 400 ms. Demand for international bandwidth has increased dramatically due to the popularity of social networking services such as YouTube, Hi5, Twitter, Facebook and increased number of broadband Internet subscribers. <laughs> 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 
Topic: International Gateways IP Transit. There are 10 international internet gateway operators in Thailand. True Corporation and Shin Corporation were granted Type II International Internet Gateway and Internet Exchange Service licenses from the NTC National Telecommunication Committee in 2005. Cat Telecom holds the largest share of the market. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Domestic Internet Exchange. There are 11 domestic internet exchange points in Thailand. Advanced Data Network Communication National Internet Exchange ADC -NICS. BB Connect National Internet Exchange by BB Connect BB Connect -NICS. CAT Telecom National Internet Exchange by CAT CAT -NICS. CS Loxinfo National Internet Exchange CSL -NICS. Symphony National Internet Exchange Symphony Nix Super Broadband Network SBN Internet Exchange SBN Nix TCCT National Internet Exchange by TCC Technology TCCT Nix TOT National Internet Exchange by TOT TOT Nix True Internet Gateway National Internet Exchange TIG Nix Jastel National Internet Exchange JASTEL NIX NECTECIIR Public Internet Exchange PI research only Topic Internet Exchange Point CAT Telecom Internet Exchange also known as Thailand Internet Exchange THIX Symphony Internet Exchange SYMCX Bangkok Neutral Internet Exchange BKNIX before 2003 IIR Public Internet Exchange was the largest internet exchange point in Thailand As of August 2003 it is mandatory for all ISPs to have a presence in the National Internet Exchange CATNIX operated by CAT Telecom CAT NIX, TIG NIX, TOT NIX, and TTGN NIX are primary Internet exchanges used by commercial Internet service providers. CAT NIX is now the largest Internet exchange point in Thailand with more than 100 gigabits per second domestic bandwidth to all ISP. Links between different Internet exchanges are now set up, reducing domestic bandwidth costs. The IIR Public Internet Exchange is now maintained by NECTEC and is used only for academic and research purposes. The only commercial Internet service provider connected to the IIR Public Internet Exchange is Internet Thailand. Topic Internet service providers Rights to operate as an Internet service provider in Thailand are granted by the NTC National Telecommunications Council. Most broadband Internet access in Thailand is offered via ADSL technology. Before 2002, broadband Internet access was offered at more than 25,000 baht per month for a typical speed of 256 kilobits per second. In 2002, TOT sparked a low-cost broadband Internet war that caused rapid growth in broadband Internet demands and has changed the way all the ISPs operate. With a groundbreaking price for an unlimited 256 kilobits per second, TOT gained popularity among online gamers in Thailand. However, TOT was unable to provide services to the majority of people in Bangkok due to the fact that half of the fixed-line telephone system was operated by Telecom Asia Co., Ltd. now known as True Corporation under a concession. At the same time, Asia Infonet started its own ADSL service with a free online game airtime strategy since they also operate Ragnarok Online, the most famous online game at that time. Outside of Bangkok, TT&T teamed up with CAT Telecom to provide unlimited 2 megabits per second ADSL service after three months of operation. 
It is commonly believed that the popularity of online gaming at that time sparked the demand for broadband internet in Thailand. Most broadband internet users in Thailand complain about the ISPs not being able to provide the speeds they promised. Many internet service providers have high contention ratios on home ADSL packages, sometimes up to 150. There was also limited international bandwidth due to CAT Telecom being the sole provider of an international internet gateway, but this has improved since the liberalization of internet gateway operations in 2005. At that time, most ISPs focused on expanding their domestic connections to accommodate online gaming demands. This led to a comeback of premium ADSL packages at a higher price point for premium home users and corporate customers. Many users still argue that these packages will still not improve the international bandwidth availability for home users. Internet service providers are usually also criticized for throttling BitTorrent traffic. Recently, there were dramatic increases in international bandwidth after the NTC authorized more ISPs to set up their own international Internet gateways to cope with the growth in demand for contents requiring higher bandwidth. In early 2009, Jasmine International launched ADSL services under the 3BB brand in major cities offering speeds up to 3 megabits per second for 590 baht. This prompted True Internet to expand their services to 8 megabits per second from 5 megabits per second and match 3BB prices. In mid 2009, 3BB offered minimum speed 4 megabits per second for 590 baht and expanded their services from 8 megabits per second to 10 megabits per second 1490 baht per month, prompting True Internet to temporarily offer free upgrades for current 8 megabits per second users to 12 megabits per second. All of MaxNet's customers were also transferred to 3BB as part of the TT&T debt rehabilitation plan proposed by the debt holders. As of October 2009, True offers speeds up to 16 megabits per second. TOT and ADC have a local loop unbundling agreement allowing for ADC to provide ADSL services on TOT phone lines. Since most telephone wires in major cities are still on poles and not underground, there is no limit to how many phone lines can enter a building. This has prompted many ISPs to offer DSL services without phone service. A new wire is simply run to the premises requiring the service, bypassing the need for any further local loop unbundling agreements. Despite the improvement of the Internet in Thailand, there are still network issues, mostly concerning network latency. The delay on the network itself proved to be deleterious to competitive online gaming. Players claim to have network issues which lost them games. <laughs> Wired Topic. Wireless Note, for 3G, only CAT, Hutch, TOT and its MVNOs are considered as legally commercial service. In 2012, the National Broadcasting and Telecommunications Commission NBTC held an auction and approved 2,100 MHz licenses to three operators Advanced Wireless Network of Advanced Info Service ICE, DTAC Network of Total Access Communication DTAC, and Real Future of True Corp and 3G service under 2,100 MHz is expected to operate by Q2 of 2013. Topic: Internet data centers. This section lists the commercial internet data centers (IDC) in Thailand. Topic: Internet censorship. Thailand is on Reporters Without Borders list of countries under surveillance in 2011. Thailand's internet freedom status is rated, 
not free. In the Freedom on the Net 2011 report by Freedom House, which cites substantial political censorship and the arrests of bloggers and other online users, estimates put the number of websites blocked at over 110,000 and growing in 2010. It is estimated that the Thai government spends 1.7 million baht per day on digital surveillance. Topic: Single Internet Gateway. The cabinet under Gen Prayat Chan O Cha, the junta leader and prime minister, on the 30th of June 2015, gave a green light to Thailand's Ministry of Information and Communication Technology (MICT) and relevant agencies to move forward with plans to implement a Thai single gateway internet before the end of the 2015 fiscal budget. The plan to reduce Internet gateways was initially proposed by Pol Gen Somayat Pumpanmong, the chief of the Royal Thai Police, as a single gateway system makes it easier for state authorities to monitor, filter, delete, and intercept information on the Internet that the authorities deem inappropriate. Currently 2015, there are about 10 international Internet gateway operators in Thailand. The MICT has been ordered to report the progress on the plan to the cabinet before the end of September 2015. Critics point out that from a systems point of view, having a single gateway and a single point of failure is a bad idea. They go on to say that the people of Thailand can kiss a fast internet goodbye purely from technical incompetence, not to mention all the monitoring, censoring and deep packet inspection the military want. Would VPN and encryption be outlawed? That would be a logical next step. On 30 September 2015, Thai netizens expressed their opposition to the single gateway plan by launching DDoS attacks against government websites, thereby bringing the websites down for hours. Those who joined the attacks referred to their action as a civil disobedience. But they were threatened with years in jail by Thai police. Hundreds of thousands of people have also signed a petition against the single gateway plan. Despite heavy opposition, Thai authorities said they still push ahead with the plan. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Internet surveillance. According to the NGO Privacy International in a September 2016 report, the Thai military government has counted on its police force to monitor online speech in order to curb dissent. But beyond the police force itself, the ruling military government has empowered networks of citizens whom it encourages to denounce those who post online content considered contrary to government policies. Following the May 2014 coup led by General Prayat, there was a sharp increase in online surveillance carried out by the National Council for Peace and Order NCPO, the ruling junta. An updated Computer Crime Act in 2014 gave police broad powers to monitor online commentary, particularly social networking applications such as Facebook. In the two years since the coup, 527 people have been arrested, 167 tried in military court, and 68 charged with les majesté. Conviction on a charge of les majesté can carry a jail sentence of up to 15 years. Of the 68 cases in which people have been charged, 21 involved content posted on Facebook, the Cyber Scout. Program was originally established in 2010 by the Thai Ministry of Justice and the Ministry of Information and Communication Technology (MICT), since renamed the Ministry of Digital Economy and Society. The program became moribund shortly thereafter, but was revived by the NCPO following their coup d'état. The aim of the Cyber Scouts is to encourage the ethical and responsible use of information and communication technology", 
among youngsters and to create a network of young volunteers to monitor online content that could be deemed a threat to national security and the monarchy. In December 2016, the junta appointed Thai National Legislative Assembly (NLA) passed an amendment to the 2007 Computer Crime Act that has been called a grab bag of the worst provisions of the worst Internet laws in the world, bits of the UK's Snoopers Charter, America's Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, and the dregs of many other failed laws." Thai officials claim the changes protect people's rights from being violated on social and digital media while enhancing the digital economy. In a Bangkok Post editorial urging that the NLA reject the amendment, it noted that, "...when the government first set out to revise the Computer Crime Act last year, it pledged that the change will not violate people's rights and freedoms. The resulting draft amendment shows anything but an attempt to maintain the promise. The NLA must vote it down." It passed unanimously. See also Internet censorship in Thailand Media of Thailand Telecommunications in Thailand Internet rush hour <laughs>